Assalamu alaikum you are watching microbiology by Numan in this video we will talk about triple sugar iron agar test which is most commonly known as TSI agar test it has also another name which is Kligler's iron agar test this TSI agar test is most commonly used for the identification of family enterobacteriaceae family enterobacteriaceae uh, are gram negative rods bacteria that are facultative anaerobes and oxidase negative this tsi test can also be used for the identification of pseudomonas talking about the uh, tsi test tsi test is a multiple test medium that means this single test provide us multiple test results for example so first multiple test media this single test can tell whether a bacteria uh, utilizes glucose aerobically or ferment glucose aerobically use it in the presence of oxygen or ferment glucose this test can also tell us whether a bacteria ferment lactose or do not ferment lactose this test can also give us the results that after fermentation whether a bacteria produces gas or not gas yes or no and the fourth and very most important uh, test result it can provide us is whether a bacteria produces hydrogen sulfide h2s production hydrogen sulfide so so it's a multiple test media talking about the uh, constituents of this agar this triple sugar iron as the name suggest contain three sugars triple sugar first sugar it contains 1% lactose one percent sucrose and 0.1 percent glucose in exam it is most commonly asked uh, what is the uh, ratio of lactose present in triple sugar iron which is one percent or what is the ratio of glucose in the triple sugar iron which is 0 0.1 percent so their ratio between lactose sucrose and glucose will be one ratio one ratio 0 0.1 one percent lactose one percent sucrose and 0 0.1 percent glucose as the name suggests it also contain iron right which is present in the form of ferrous sulfate this medium also contains sodium thiosulfate these two are used in the identification of hydrogen sulfide production and the very important part of this TSI agar is pH indicator which is phenol red phenol red is the pH indicator in the triple sugar iron test so moving on talking about how to inoculate this medium and how this medium look like this test is performed in the test tube and inside the test tube this uh, this test tube contain a slope agar is present in the form of slope so if this is the test tube if we look from the side this test tube contain a slope this slope is known as slant so this test is performed on a agar slant right slant is just like a slope whereas the bottom part of this medium 
is known as butt we are looking this test tube from this side whereas if we see this test tube from the front side this test tube this this test tube containing a uh, this slope this is how it look like so this is slant whereas this is butt the purpose of slant in this test tube in this method is that slant provide uh, more surface area for this test so surface area is increased in case of this test slope these test tubes are inoculated with the help of inoculating needle and by a technique which is known as stab streak technique stab streak technique in this technique with the help of inoculating needle we will pick a bacteria which we want to identify then with the help of needle we will just stab this agar in a straight line and then we will just pull out this inoculating needle and then we will streak this surface area if you look from the front side we have just stabbed this test tube then after stabbing we will streak this test tube in a continuous manner so this method is known as stab and then streaking stab streak technique so after this inoculation by stab streak method we will incubate this test tube at 37 degree centigrade for 18 to 24 hours after 18 to 24 hours we will notice four main components first of all we will see the color of this slant whether this slant is red or yellow we will discuss uh, how it could be red or yellow then we will see the color of this butt whether it is red or yellow first thing is the color of slant second is the color of this butt third thing to notice after this you know uh, incubation whether there are cracks present in this agar or not cracks are very easily visible this agar is broken down into parts or sometime this whole agar is pulled uh, is moved in the upward direction so there will be air trapped at the end of the test tube third thing we notice will be gas production and fourth thing to notice is the whether this butt is black in color or it is red or yellow right so we'll notice the blackening of butt this blackening will be due to hydrogen sulfide production so there could be three possible results of this test we'll talk about them one by one the first result could be red slant and yellow butt second result could be yellow slant and yellow butt and third result could be red slant or red butt or red slant and no change in color this media before inoculation this tsi media is dark orange color after inoculation these could be the results in the first result red slant and yellow butt means 
this bacteria that we have inoculated is non lactose fermenter how how it is non lactose fermenter because this media contain glucose this bacteria has broken down glucose aerobically first and glucose is present in very less concentration after glucose is utilized this bacteria has utilized peptone peptone is also present in the media and when peptone is broken down it is broken down into ammonia and ammonia is alkaline so this plant will be alkaline so this phenol red ph indicator will turn into red color whereas in the butt part in the bottom part glucose is fermented and due to fermentation the ph will be goes ph will go down and phenol red will convert into yellow color so butt will be acidic other than red slant and yellow but certain bacteria can also produce is gas the gas is seen in the form of cracks in the media or in the form of air trapped in the media or sometime gas is trapped in the lower portion this whole media is pushed in the upward direction other than gas hydrogen sulfide is also produced by certain bacteria sodium thiosulfate which is present in the media is broken down into hydro into hydrogen sulfide hydrogen sulfide is a colorless product this hydrogen sulfide will react with ferrous sulfate and this media will be converted into black color certain bacteria produces hydrogen sulfide by the breakdown of sodium thiosulfate hydrogen sulfide is a colorless product it will react with ferrous sulfate and turn the media blackish this hydrogen sulfide are produced mainly by salmonella and proteus and non lactose fermenter bacteria of enterobacteria c includes shigella shigella produces red slant and yellow but it do not produce any kind of gas and do not produce h2s whereas salmonella and proteus are also non lactose fermenter they produces red slant yellow but they do not produce any kind of gas and they produces hydrogen sulfide and hydrogen sulfide in case of proteus is seen in the butt portion butt portion will be blackish after 18 to 24 hours but in case of salmonella a very small amount of this h2s is produced in this slant part so salmonella and proteus produces h2s where the shigella do not produce hydrogen sulfide the second possibility is yellow slant and yellow but it means that bacteria has fermented both glucose and lactose so this test tube bacteria that we have inoculated is a lactose fermenter this bacteria has broken down both glucose and lactose uh, both the bacteria in the medium has fermented both glucose and lactose and due to acid production phenol red will be red so there will be acidic condition in this slant whereas but is also acidic example of lactose fermenter bacteria of enterobacteria c family are e coli and klebsiella other than yellow slant and yellow but e coli and klebsiella also produces gas so they are gas positive both gas are seen sometime by the in the form of cracks in the media this agar is broken down to two to three pieces or sometimes the gas is trapped in the lower portion and the whole media is pushed in the upper direction yellow slant yellow but is seen in the form of in lactose fermenter bacteria whereas the third possibility is red slant and red but it means this bacteria is non fermenter this bacteria do not ferment any kind of sugar
this bacteria has broken down pepton into ammonia and due to ammonia production this slant and but will be alkaline because ammonia is alkaline in nature example of non fermented bacteria are pseudomonas pseudomonas do not belong to enterobacteria c it's a obligate aerobe other than pseudomonas certain bacteria can break down this uh, peptone aerobically and only slant will be red in color but certain bacteria uh, break down this peptone aerobically in the slant as well as in the butt portion so both the red slant and butt will also be red in color so these are three possible results of this test if you have any question regarding this topic you can ask in the comment section thank you